What's up everybody? I am currently testing a new product that you can't see right now. <laughs> this product is called the Mantis Tripod. Hold on a second. It's actually called the Mantis Pod Pro. It's a tripod. It's a handheld tripod. But it can do a lot more than just what a normal handheld tripod could do. If you follow this channel for a while, you know that I have been using the SwitchPod for a very long time since basically they released it. Uh, and I love this thing for vlogging and for just quickly throwing my camera on a table uh, after walking around and capturing footage. Well, uh, the Mantis Pod is pretty cool. It's a, I think it's a little heavier actually. We'll have to check that. I think it's a little heavier than the Switch Pod, but uh, unlike the Switch Pod that I have, I don't have the ball head for the Switch Pod, so if I want to use a ball head, I have to take it off another tripod. The Mantis Pod has a ball head built in, even has a mount to hold a camera built in, even has a mount to hold uh, any camera, even has a mount to hold a phone built in, and it actually came with two methods of mounting a camera, and actually my microphone that you're listening to me talk right now is also mounted to the tripod, not mounted to the camera. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna take a look at the Mantis Pod Pro. <laughs> so you can see exactly what this thing is. I also just realized that I am um, the micro. I also just realized that because the microphone is connected to the tripod, that it's actually not aimed towards me. So I'm going to fix that right now. Does this sound a little bit better? Should be a little bit better. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit better because now it's actually aimed towards my mouth, uh, my mouth height rather than whatever it was shoulder <laughs> that it was aimed at before. All right. So let's look at the Mantis Pod Pro. If you were a fan of the Gorillapod prior to the SwitchPod coming out because you could uh, attach it to things like poles and stuff like that, you're really going to like the Mantis Pod Pro because right now this is actually hanging on to a small strap <laughs> at the top of my heavy bag. And I have my Nikon Z7 II attached to this sucker, and it's not going anywhere. Now, I wouldn't trust hitting the bag at this exact moment, but that camera is on that tripod with a microphone hanging onto a heavy bag, and it's not a flimsy thing like a Gorillapod. And if you don't believe me, there's a photo of it. So this, my friends, is the Mantis Pro. First things first is it looks like any other sort of vlogging style tripod. You can see there's an angle that's got a mount for your camera, and actually there's a second mount for your camera on here. So let's break down what is so interesting about this tripod. As you can see, I just popped off that second mount. Let's start from the beginning. First and foremost, yes, very grippy. You can definitely hold on to this. It's not, there's no discomfort. It's very comfortable to hold. Um, there is a smoother surface right here, which we'll get to as well. What's really cool is that I can, with this big button here, push this, and I can actually adjust the angle this of the camera mount up here of where it is. And the reason for that is because I can then open it up and adjust things. So, for example, right now this is in handheld mo mode, and I would have it probably like this, the camera sitting on, on right on top. But if I was to open the legs, because the legs do open to make it into a tripod, I might need to adjust that. I might need to adjust it and make it straighter, like so, or, you know, I might want it on an angle. You never know. That's the nice thing about this, is that you can actually adjust it for any angle. If you're hanging it from somewhere, you can also adjust it for whatever angle. So let's move to the, to the ball head. 
Yes, it is a ball head. Uh, it is right now locked in here. There's two cold shoes, actually three cold shoes, three cold shoes on this tripod. Uh, the first is right at the top. The second is on the side. The third is actually right under this smoother rubbery piece right here. There's a cold shoe right there. So the ball head though, it has a lock to take this Arca Swiss style plate. So which means I can actually take a Nikon Z7 II, which is right now on a different tripod. Cause I have an Arca Swiss camera plate. I can put it right on here already and it'll just go in here and then I can lock it in place. And now this is not coming out and it is there and it is secure. There's also a twist unlock to actually do a complete pan. So there's a pan at the top of this as well. And then there's a lever here, which allows you to now use the ball head as a ball head instead of having it very stiff, which means that when you are vlogging, you could go like this, lock it there, and then you can have the camera situated exactly how you need it to be situated because you've got all that adjustment built right in to the ball head itself. So this cold shoe over here actually turns. I'm gonna put this on here so you can see. This cold shoe actually turns. So this is meant for a light. It's meant for uh, a, a microphone. It's meant for anything that you might need to put on the side, maybe right under your camera. You could also swap these. You could take this one and put it on the side and put this one on top. You can do it however you need. The options are really endless of, of where you could go with it uh, and what you can mount to it and things like that. And then of course, as I said, you have another one under here. So if I want to, I can actually put this down there for a whole different setup. So for example, I can actually unlock this. There's a button over here to unlock the leg distance, adjust the head, and I can actually do it like this. I can vlog. Imagine this was not here. I could actually vlog with the one on the end. I can move this to the end, whatever it is I need to do. You've got a lot of options for that. Something else that's really cool is built in, you've got two things right here on the inside of the stiff leg, the one that does not split. This one splits, this does not. This one has two things built in. One is this, which is actually a phone holder for the top of your tripod. I now have a phone holder that is also Arca Swiss mount that actually gets locked in just like your camera would with an Arca Swiss mount. And what's cool is there's actually a cold shoe on top of this. So this act does hold my iPhone 12 Pro Max, which means the 13 Pro Max, which just came out at the time I'm recording this, is also gonna fit inside of this mount and I can put a light or a microphone or whatever on top of that. So any mobile vlogging is gonna get really good audio and video quality as well. If for whatever reason you want to screw this onto your tripod head instead of just mounting it directly, you can do so. There is the thread in there to mount that directly onto, if you, for whatever reason, this, or for whatever reason, this, if you didn't want to use it directly on the uh, ball head. The other thing that is that is snuck in here, and this is why they call it the mantis pod, is this part. This is a hook that allows you to literally hang it. It doesn't have any grip. I thought it would have a grip, but it doesn't have any grip, but allows you to hang on something that is sturdy, and then the tripod will just sit nicely. You have to spread the legs out and do some adjustments for the angles in order to get that sort of tension. So if you were to hang it from a, a pole that's going this way, you'd have to have a fence or something down there for these two legs to sit on in order for this to work out how you want. So for example, now this is sitting here, it actually is not gonna go anywhere. Sure, it could just move because it's not being gripped, it's not being secured, but the weight of your camera on here, it's gonna make a good amount of pressure to keep this in place quite easily with minimal movement going on unless there was an earthquake or something that would knock this off. So they call it the Mantis Pod because of this and because of the sort of flexible directions that this could go in. All the adjustments that you have available to you to mount, to uh, move and things like that, very praying mantis-like. This is a really cool tripod for on the go. Um, I'm a big fan of the Switch Pod and I thought that that might be my mobile tripod of choice, but this might have taken the cake because it is even more flexible and I think I'm going to go to the specs to confirm, but I think that this is actually lighter than the Switch Pod. Mantis Pod Pro and the Switch Pod that actually has the Moment MagSafe mount for my iPhone on it. Both are incredible. Both 
have really one purpose, to hold your phone or your camera so that you could do some vlogging, do some video creation, and then put it down on a table, on the ground, on a shelf, whatever it is, wherever you need to put it. Sure, this might actually be heavier than this. I mean, I can feel the weight difference. This is a tiny, tiny bit heavier than this. With a ball head on here, this actually gets taller than this does, which could be better for video. This is more versatile because it can do different things. It's all a matter of preference. It comes down to this. If you just need a good, solid, mobile tripod that you can literally clip onto your bag or throw into a bag and in some cases fit into a pocket of a bag, then this is actually amazing. This can fit into a laptop sleeve and you can barely tell it's there. If you throw the ball head on here, yes, it's getting a little bit heavier. This might be smaller. It actually has the Arca Swiss mount built in with the, with the ball head. It has multiple mounting options, multiple configurations. So if you need something that's more versatile, check out the Mantis Pod Pro. Either way, you can't go wrong, both are great products. But the Mantis Pod Pro is nicely made, full of surprises. Uh, the one thing that I have to say that I'm not very happy about is I thought by the looks of the product in the descriptions of the product and in some of the reviews I've seen about the product, I was expecting the Mantis grip to be more of a grip and not just a use counterbalance and counter pressure to keep the product hanging where it's hanging. Little misleading there, but it's okay. It still does a really cool job and I can't wait to put this to further use beyond what I've already done. There you go. If you like this video, click that subscribe button below. Right now I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday whenever possible. You don't want to miss it. And be sure to karate kick the notification bell. Do it.